Welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. Today on the bench I'm going to take a look at this Flute TS100 Pro. This TDR has a range of approximately 3000 feet and it can also act as a tone generator. On this unit the velocity of propagation can be adjusted from 20% to 90%. From memory the pulse width is 30 nanoseconds and it has an accuracy of plus or minus 3 feet. This is a very basic TDR that will give you a distance to either a short or an open. So let's take a very quick look at this TDR on the bench. This is the Flute Network's TS100 Pro. It is pretty much a one button tester. As soon as this TDR is turned on, it will take a measurement. It's currently flashing no test leads because no test lead is plugged into it. These are the test leads that are provided with the TS100 Pro. This is a BNC connector and we have some nice alligator clips. Plugging in the test leads, the current unit of measurement is in meters. It can also be set to display the cable length in feet. To find the length of this cable, I need to connect this TDR to a pair in the cable. I do not need to worry about polarity when plugging into this cable. The TDR is showing a length of this cable between 15 and 16 meters. I have physically measured this cable and it is a little over 15 meters long. The pair is currently open and if I short the pair together, I get a tone. When this TDR is connected to a cable, it also injects a tone into the cable. This tone can be very helpful if you're trying to locate this cable in a bundle. The tone is significantly stronger on the blue and white pair. This is what we would expect as we are injecting the signal into the blue and white pair. A very nice feature is that when the pair is shorter, the tone will switch to one of five different tones. This allows you to positively identify the pair. setup of this TDR is very very simple. To adjust the velocity of propagation I hold down one of the buttons and I turn the meter on. We can see it's currently set to 68%. I'm going to increase that. The velocity of propagation can only be set in increments of 1%. Here it is set to 81 and the length of the cable is now measuring 19 meters. With the velocity of propagation set to 50% the cable is now measuring 11 meters. On the back of this unit there is a chart which provides some common velocity of propagation factors for various types of cable. However, the best way to set the velocity of propagation is to have a known length of cable. Using that known length of cable, you can adjust the velocity of propagation until you get the correct distance reading. To set the measurement units, I need to hold down both buttons when I turn on the TDR. The measurement units is currently set to meters. Pressing the up arrow, I can set it to feet. By pressing the on auto test, I've confirmed that setting. The measurement units are now in feet and the TDR is showing the approximate length of this cable is 51 feet. I very much like the simplicity of this TDR. It's a simple one button operation. It gives you the distance and it will tell you if the cable is open or shorted and that's really all you need to know. One of the benefits of a TDR which is often touted is the distance to fault. And while that can sometimes be useful, in a lot of cases you don't actually know how the cable is run, exactly how it gets from point A to point B. And unless you know how that cable is actually routed, distance to fault information won't let you pinpoint the fault exactly. You'll still need to use something like a circuit tracer in order to pinpoint the exact location of that fault. This TDR will work with pretty much any cable that has at least two conductors. One very important consideration when using a TDR is that TDR is actually measuring the electrical length of a cable. So for example, if we take the CAT6 cable that I was testing, each pair is twisted at a different rate, and therefore each pair will have a slightly different electrical length. So if you calibrate this using the blue and white pair, then you should always test using the blue and white pair. Also, the velocity of propagation factor needs to be changed based on the manufacture of the cable. Therefore, it is very important when seeing the velocity of propagation that the sample cable matches the actual cable you'll be using and testing. Thank you for taking the time to watch this review. If you did enjoy this review, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.